President Trump here, and welcome to my definitive iPhone tier list. Today, we will be ranking every single iPhone ever released, all the way from the original iPhone 2G to the latest and greatest iPhone 15 Ultra. Oops, I mean 14 Pro Max, my bad. I'm on Tim's nice list. What can I say, haha? -ha? And so we begin, ladies and gentlemen. The iPhone 2G was announced on stage in January 2007 by my boy Steve Jobs to a standing ovation. Steve and his team over at Apple wanted to create an iPod, a breakthrough internet communicator, and a revolutionary mobile phone. Turns out this was not three separate devices, but one device. That was the iPhone 2G, obvious S tier here, because it not only made history, but the iPhone was the phone that changed the way we communicate today. Who knows where we'd be if the iPhone never existed. Next 2008, here comes the iPhone 3G, which brought 3G networking to the iPhone and came in at a lower price. It did not feel as premium as the 2G, though, as it opted for a plastic back over aluminum. A tier for this one. 2009, the iPhone 3GS. It was the first iPhone to feature video recording. Not much else to say here as not much changed from the 3G to 3GS. B tier for the 3GS. 2010, in comes the iPhone 4, which featured a complete redesign from the previous iPhones with glass on the front and back, a five megapixel camera, and it was the first iPhone equipped with a retina display. And wow, what a huge difference the display made. It also came equipped with the Apple A4, the first Apple silicon chip ever in an iPhone. The redesign also brought its own set of issues, though. Who remembers Antenna Gate and the You're Holding It Wrong? Yeah, that was such a disaster for Apple, they had to give away those stupid bumper cases for free. A tier for the four. 2011, the iPhone 4S. The 4S featured the same design as the 4, and it fixed the antenna gate disaster. But the 4S is most remembered for being the iPhone that introduced the first ever AI assistant on a smartphone. You may know her as Siri. Back in the day, Siri was way ahead of her time. These days, she is mostly known for her stupidity, kind of like that sleepy, creepy, sloppy, droopy Joe. The 4S also brought an upgraded 8 megapixel camera to the table and is fondly looked at today as one of the best iPhones of all time, as long as it's not running iOS 9. S tier for the 4S. One day after the phone was announced, Steve Jobs met his untimely fate. Rest in peace. Steve, your contributions to the world will never be forgotten. 2012, the iPhone 5 was the first iPhone to be announced under Tim Cook's leadership. The 5 featured a refined design, opting for aluminum on the back, with glass on the top and bottom of the back of the phone, it was also the first iPhone to ship with a lightning connector for charging and data transfers. The lightning connector was way smaller, bi-directional, allowing you to plug in the cable from either side. This was the first iPhone to ship with a bigger 4-inch screen, over 3.5 inches of all previous iPhones. This was also the first iPhone to ship with Apple EarPods, huge upgrade over the older Apple earbuds. Those things were uncomfortable as hell and sounded like Sleepy Joe when he goes to take a fat shit. To top it off, the 5 came out of the box running iOS 6, the most iconic iOS version ever. A tier for the 5. 2013, the iPhone 5S came equipped with the first ever 64-bit chip in a smartphone the Apple A7, which brought massive speed and efficiency improvements to the 5S. And it was the first iPhone that was available in a new gold finish. It was also the first iPhone to feature Touch ID in the home button, allowing you to unlock your phone quickly and make purchases on the App Store. It also shipped with iOS 7, which was a huge departure from Apple's software design philosophy. But the legacy left by iOS 7 is still felt today as iOS 16 largely resembles iOS 7. Easy S tier for the 5S. Oh God, we're here already? Do we really have to talk about this one? Okay, okay, the 5C was a plastic iPhone 5 that came in some fun colors. Pretty sure this is Sleepy Joe's favorite one, so that's an automatic F tier for the 5C, yuck. Who wants a 5C 2014? The iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. These iPhones shipped with a full aluminum body and larger screens, 4.7 inches and 5.5 inches respectively. The iPhone 6 and 6 Plus are the best-selling iPhones of all time, but once again with the redesign came an issue known as Bendgate. Due to the phones being larger and thinner, people quickly noticed that their phone was bent due to them sitting on it in their back pocket. 
You could even bend it by hand with little force. Remember that unbox therapy video where he basically bent it in half by hand? I sure do. The A8 was an extremely small upgrade over the A7. And with Ben Gate, that lands this phone in B tier. 2015, the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus featured the same design as the 6 and 6 Plus, but brought 7000 series aluminum to the table, solving Bendgate. The 6S also featured an upgraded 12 megapixel rear camera, enabling 4K video recording on iPhone for the first time ever. The 6S also brought an upgraded 5 megapixel front camera, added the Taptic engine for much better and quiet vibrations on the phone. The 6S also introduced 3D touch, which used a new pressure sensitive layer of the display to judge how hard you were pressing on the display and would allow you to do certain new actions. The 6S to this day is the longest supported iPhone in history, going all the way from iOS 9 to iOS 15. The 6S was the first iPhone to ever come in a rose gold finish as well, thus putting the 6S and 6S Plus in S tier. 2016, the iPhone SE first gen, the SE had the body of the 5S, but the internals of the 6S, a true mini powerhouse. A tier for the SE 2016 again, the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus came with some big improvements over the 6S, such as two never before seen finishes, black and jet black. The 7 and 7 Plus were also the first iPhones to be water resistant, have stereo speakers, and these iPhones also introduced the solid state home button, using the Taptic engine to simulate a press of the home button. However, the 7 and 7 Plus are most remembered for being the iPhones that removed the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack from iPhone. This seemed like a crazy decision at the time, but this is Apple creating a problem, then selling us the solution AirPods, way ahead of the rest of the market, being the first truly wireless earbuds ever. The 7 Plus also introduced the telephoto lens to allow for awesome portrait shots on iPhone. 7 and 7 Plus go in A tier. 2017 iPhone 8 and 8 Plus brought portrait photos to the front facing camera and was the return of the glass back on iPhone, allowing for wireless charging. The iPhone 8 also introduced fast charging and true tone. That's really it for the 8 and 8 Plus. C tier for these two. Next up just happens to be the biggest redesign and feature-packed iPhone ever. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the iPhone 10. The iPhone 10 came out of the box with a ton of changes, such as an edge-to-edge 5.8-inch -edge old panel, face ID, goodbye home button, hello gesture control, and my personal favorite, an emoji. I mean, come on, who doesn't want to create animated emojis using their face? It's great. Absolute S tier for the 10, no question. The iPhone 10 will probably always remain the most dramatic upgrade in terms of features and design changes ever in the history of iPhone. 2018 iPhone 10s and 10s Max and 10R, the 10s was an extremely small upgrade over the 10, coming in a new gold finish and added smart HDR to the camera, and featured the A12 over the A11 of the 10. The 10s Max had everything the 10s had, but brought a massive screen to iPhone for the first time ever coming in at 6.5 inches. The 10R was a more affordable version of the 10S, opting for an aluminum frame over stainless steel of the 10S, and opted for an LCD screen over OLED coming in at 6.1 inches, but the 10R still managed to bring face ID and gesture control to users who wanted those features at a more affordable price. The 10R is also remembered for having amazing battery life. C tier for the 10S, a tier for the 10s max and b tier for the 10r 2019 the iphone 11 11 pro and 11 pro max the 11 was a sizable upgrade from the 10r coming in at a lower price and bringing an ultra wide lens to iphone for the first time ever allowing for new possibilities when it comes to photos the 11 pro and 11 pro max also received the new ultra wide lens also with the 11 Pro series, Apple added the ability to take night mode shots on iPhone for the first time ever. 3D touch was also removed in favor of the far inferior haptic touch, which is basically just a long press rather than a pressure sensitive display. The iPhone 11 series were also the iPhones that removed all text from the back of the phones and centered the Apple logo. The 11 Pro and Pro Max also featured a never before seen frosted back glass and were a huge step up in battery life from previous iPhones. 
This puts the 11 in B tier and the 11 Pro and Pro Max in S tier. 2020, the iPhone SE second gen, this phone had the internals of the iPhone 11, that being the A13, but had the body of the iPhone 8. This iPhone really suffered from battery drain due to the extremely small battery inside, putting this iPhone in C tier. 2020 again, iPhone 12, 12 mini, 12 Pro, and 12 Pro Max. The 12 lineup was the first to feature four models. These were also the first iPhones to not include a power brick and ear pods in favor of thinner packaging. These phones also said goodbye to plastic wrap, but introduced the oh-so-satisfying pull tabs on the back of the box. They also removed one Apple sticker from the box, leaving us with only one. Like what the Beep Apple, you know we love our Apple stickers. MagSafe was also introduced with the 12 lineup, allowing for magnetic and more efficient 15-watt wireless charging. The 12 lineup also brought 5G to iPhone. With the 12 series, they also reintroduced the iPhone 5-like boxy design. The 12 mini was a first for iPhone, being the size of an iPhone 4 while having an iPhone Plus size screen. Overall, awesome iPhone, but it did not stack up when it comes to battery life on the other models. The iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max introduced my favorite color ever on iPhone, Pacific Blue. Just thinking about that color makes my mouth water. They also featured an upgraded camera system, but they actually had worse battery life when compared to the 11 series. Overall, because of everything they brought to the table, such as MagSafe and 5G LANs, all four phones in A tier, 2021, iPhone 13, 13 mini, 13 Pro, and 13 Pro Max. The 13 series featured the same design as the 12, but brought new features such as photographic styles and cinematic mode to iPhone. Apple also greatly improved the battery life on all phones, but especially the 13 Pro Max. The 13 Pro and Pro Max were the first iPhones ever to get 120 Hz Pro motion in the display. And oh my God, I creamed my panties when they announced that as we had been waiting a long time for this to be brought to iPhone. This puts the 13 and 13 mini in B tier and the 13 Pros in S tier for Pro motion and battery life alone. Early 2022, iPhone SE 3rd Gen featured the same exact boring design from the 2020 iPhone SE, but upgraded from the A13 to the A15 of the iPhone 13, but suffered from even worse battery life due to the addition of 5G. Barely any changes here, easy F tier. Late 2022, iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, and 14 Pro Max. Do we even have to talk about the 14 and 14 Plus? Automatic F tier for these two, as there were barely any changes from the 13 to 14, same design, same SOC even. That being the A15 from the 13. And the 14 Plus is literally a 13 Pro Max. Without the telephoto lens and Pro Motion, thank God that's done with. Now we can get to the good shit. The iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max introduced three major things. The 14 Pros got a 48 megapixel camera, the long awaited always on display, and best of all, Dynamic Island. The Dynamic Island is so bubbly, fun, and interactive. I love when my music goes up there, and the addition of live activities is cool, but I really think Apple could have done more with it in its first year, putting the 14 Pros in A tier. 2023, iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro, and 15 Ultra. The 15 lineup brought major changes to iPhone. Hmm, where should I start? What was that, Tim? I can't talk about these yet. What do you mean? Oh, right, they're not even out yet. Oops, that's my bad, Tim. Where are you going? Fuck. Well, guess I'm not on Timmy's nice list anymore. Oh, well, that's too bad. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch my iPhone tier list. This took a long time to make, so if you enjoyed, please consider liking the video and subscribing to this channel for more videos like this in the future. Thank you and God bless America. By the way, fuck Sleepy Joe and his cokehead son.